Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are making a little case for the basic knife that I made. Um, now, this is a case, not a sheath, um, due to the fact that it just clips in there. It doesn't hang on a belt or anything like that. So it becomes a case. Um, so we're tracing around the knife, and then we're using a little tracing tool there to widen out and get the welt size and the overall sheath size okay cutting out that tracing and that becomes our template for the sheath here I'm using the little stud that's going to be on the back of the retention strap I'm just using that to determine the size of the strap and just cutting a quick piece out for that just to give me a rough size for it for later Okay, here we're marking out our leather. Now I'm just going to put a hole where the studs are going to go. Uh, it goes through on both pieces. I can use it to hold the stencil in place. And it also marks where the hole's going to go. So quick trace around and then cut it out. Just rough cutting everything to start with, just to get the piece of leather off. And then I'll do the fine cuts later when it's not attached to the full hide. And on to the second one. Okay, now just cutting out where the actual knife was on our stencil and that will give us the welt so I can mark that and cut that out. Okay, now the rough trimming's done. I'm just going to take a little bit more time and cut it nicely to shape, making sure to keep the blade straight up and down. And we just cut through them all. And just holding it all together, I'm just going to test to see how it fits before I go any further. Okay, now just punching out the holes for the fasteners to go into. Then I'm just checking to make sure that I've got the right fastener on the right side. So I generally try and have the side that's going to open be the side that my maker's mark is on. Uh, and my maker's mark is on the left hand side of the blade so it'll face towards the right hand side of user so now I'm just skiving around um, just deepening the hole just so the metal of the fastener is going to recess in okay my fastener for the front is a screw on one so I'm just going to put that in place just temporarily tighten it up and on to the second hole. Okay, here we are fixing it up, which means drilling out the front of the fastener so it's going to come out, taking it out, replacing it with another one. And this time I'm doing it on the anvil so I've got something solid in behind it. That way I know it's going to seat properly. Okay, we just want to make up a couple little tiny flaps of leather just to go over the top of the back of those fasteners 
just so there's not going to be any metal on metal inside the sheath uh, we want to make sure the blades in against leather the whole time okay and now we're going to mark where the welt is on both pieces so we know exactly whereabouts we're going to be gluing And we'll go ahead and glue the first side of the welt and stick that on. Okay, next for the finish inside the sheath, I'm just going to use some of my wax mixture. Um, I love it, it's a versatile stuff. So I'm just going to rub it on into the leather on the inside and just give us a nice sort of water resistant finish in there, help to protect the leather, help to protect the blade. And then we'll go ahead and just glue the other side of the case on. Once it's tacky, we'll stick it all together and just give it a little pressure with the hammer just to make sure it seals up nice. Okay, here I'm marking up my stitch line. I should have really trimmed it all up first, uh, but I was rushing to try and get it done. Okay, and just going through with a stitching chisel and marking whereabouts the stitches are gonna go. Okay, I didn't show the drill in the hole, but this is just cleaning up the outside edge afterwards. And here we are, just beveling off the edge, just to make it easier to finish later on in the piece. Um, now, of course, if you want a complete look on how to make a sheath with more detail, because this is just a bit of a overview of it, then by all means have a look at the series that I've done on making a cross draw sheath and on we go to the sewing so and it's just a simple saddle stitch and again if you have a look at the cross draw sheath i'll talk about it in a bit more detail um, but today's just a a quick run through As we get to the end of one side, we just flip it over and keep the stitching coming back down the other side. Now, as I get to the end, I just run the stitches back for four stitches, and that's where I need the pliers just to help pull it through because it gets a bit tight on the back stitch. Snip them off and just use a lighter to burn the edges. Of course, working is always easier when you've got a little bit of company beside you. Okay, now I'm just using a piece of kangaroo hide uh, just to make the retention strap with. Now the kangaroo hide is more flexible, it's thinner, it just works so much better for a retention strap.
Okay, we're just gonna punch a hole and put our little snap over the top of it. And this one will bend down a little bit easier because it's got the support in behind it. Okay, clip that on, stretch it over. Just work out where we want the hole for the front. Punch the hole in and just put a little slit. Okay, there we go, it is done. Okay, so just gonna take that knife out, damp down the edges and slit them over. Just taking us towards that finished leather look. Just work the mouth of the sheath first, and that's the trickiest bit. Okay, then down onto the sides. And the last thing I need to do is just take it outside and buff on some of our wax finish just to seal the outside of the sheath. All right, folks, there we are. It is all complete. And that is our final one for this Making a Basic Knife series. Um, you know, we started from copying the design I had and finish up here at this stage, which is making a little case for it. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for, for everyone who's watched along the way. Uh, if you haven't and you'd like to, please go to the playlist and follow along. Um, I know we weren't super detailed in this case making video. I do have a full playlist on making a knife sheath. Um, so if there's any details that you missed, have a look in there for it. Um, so the last thing I've got to do is sharpen this one up because that is the very last thing I do on a knife. Uh, do not sharpen it until it has somewhere to go when it's sharp. So I'm just going to sharpen it up and then get it out to the client so there we go it's got this lovely new case a little clip that gets right out of the way and is replaceable in case it does get cut it just folds down there so there we go all complete um, Again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you know when I've got other videos coming out. Again, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.